Hi everybody, this is Jolie Boucher here, and today I'm gonna to show you how can you can use a template within Google Drawings to share with your students. And you could do this for all areas of your curriculum. So I am solving a math problem here, and I am just using six rectangles to um, demonstrate my knowledge. And I really like this because I can provide all the directions over here in the margin or the gutter, as some call it. And I also have some call outs over here that students can copy and paste and put into their comic strip. So for example, if a student were solving um, a math problem where they had to calculate the perimeter, they might add some thinking here and some ideas. And I used a photo app um, called Sticky on my phone, which gives you a clear background. So it's pretty awesome. And I uploaded it into my Google Drive and then I just added the image. So let's say right here we are mentioning the problem and here we are starting to get the ideas and provide definitions. And now maybe I wanna do the math. So for this area, I might insert an image of some fencing. So I'm gonna type in fencing and I'm gonna search. And I want clip art, so I'm gonna make sure I have it on my clip art setting and I'm gonna select that. And I should get a nice clip art image that I can import right into my comic strip like this, resize it. And now I may add a text box since I am not thinking or speaking, so I don't need any of those call outs. And I may type in my um, calculations right here. Okay, so um, here the student would be saying that they know it would be the length times width, which is noted in the definition. So 120 times two is 240 feet wide by 140 times two equals 280 feet long. And then they would add up the lengths to get 520 feet total. So here maybe would be the conclusion where a student would go to insert image. And this time from my Google Drive, I'm gonna add that selfie that I took with my um, sticky app, the free sticky app, and I'm just going to click select. So um, I like that you can use hand gestures to demonstrate feeling. So here I'm giving the thumbs up because I am confident that I solved my math problem. So I am going to copy this speech bubble, control C, and paste it and just move it right over here. And to turn that speech bubble around, I'm just gonna right click and go to rotate and flip it horizontally. There we go. And now here's the conclusion. Yay, I need to purchase 520 feet of fencing to enclose my yard. And then of course you could resize your speech bubble and the students could customize it, change the colors. I just use the paint bucket here to change the color. And once again, I have that clear background with the sticky app. So that's why I love that so much. And I think students will have a lot of fun. They don't have to use their photo. They could just use a generic um, free clip art image and they could really demonstrate their knowledge. They could collaborate by clicking share and working with a partner. And I also like that they have the explore tool right here if they need to do any research. So this could really be a one-stop shop for creating a comic strip for your class. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope you have fun. Take care everyone.